Hi ladies, we're gonna make this one in 10 minutes or less. And we're also gonna do the inside and the envelope. Join me in the craft room and I'll show you how. Are you ready for another 10 minute creation? Today, I am using Painted Harvest and I'm going to use that stamp, that stamp, that stamp, that stamp, and that stamp. I am also using Pear Pizzazz ink, Wild Wasabi ink, so Saffron ink, and Calypso Coral ink. I have a piece of Whisper White that's one and a fourth by five and a, by five. And this one is one and a half by five and a fourth. I have my two pieces of Whisper White, one for the outside and one for the inside, that measures four by five and a fourth. I'm not certain which color I'm going to use for my card base, either so saffron or um, calypso coral. So I have both and I'll play and see which one I like better. And I have my envelope. Scrap paper because I am going to be doing some off stamping. So the first thing, oh and I forgot, I need a piece, a scrap piece of Whisper White. To start off with, we need to make our flower that we're going to cut out. Um, I'm stamping off because I just re-inked my pads and to me it's too dark. I'm going to start with the largest flower and I'm going to off stamp it. See, it's just too dark, at least for me. Then I'm going to put much better. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the smaller flower. And I'm watching my centers to keep that center open. All right. Then I'm going to do my center of my flower. I just re-inked this one too, so it's kind of bright. All right, so I have my flower stamped. Now it's time to cut it out. I want to show you a little trick for cutting this out fairly quickly. What I usually do is I take and I stamp it and then I take and I go all the way around at the tips of all of the petals. And then I come back in and I usually come from one direction and I just cut down on all of them like so. And then I go back in the other direction and cut down. and cut off the petal. Every once in a while I have to go back one way or the other and get a piece, but most of the time it works. And the pieces just fall out and it's quick and easy, like so. And then if there's some that need to be trimmed up, you can trim it up. So now that we have our flower cut out, I'm going to stamp my leaves on here and I'm going to start with my pear pizzazz. Sorry, I need my pear pizzazz. I just re-inked this one too. All of my need inking at the same time. And I'm using the solid stamp and I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to off stamp it because it's pretty dark. I'm going to rotate it around for some interest. Oh, see, I forgot to off stamp that one. Oh well. Let me try again. I forgot it there. Okay, I'm going back to this one. I can't keep straight today. All right, now I'm going to use my wild wasabi and the other one that's kind of got the veins in it and all. And I'm going to ink it up. And I'm going to stamp it full strength. It was inked up a while ago, so it's okay. Just to give it a little bit of interest and texture. All right. Time to get our card put together. I'm going to take my leaf piece and 
I'm going to add it to my pear pizzazz. And you know what? I got to thinking. I think I'm going to use the leaf embossing folder that we have, um, the highly, highly textured one. This one, I'm going to emboss this piece for a little bit more interest. I'm going to do that and I'll be back. I got this embossed and because it's embossed, um, when I put it on my card, I'm going to need my tear and tape. I'm going to need tear and tape to attach this too. So I'm going to pull out my tear and tape and I'll put some on the back. I think I'm going to turn this this way because I can put my flower here. It's not embossed real heavy there. Okay. There's that. And I need my flower. And my flower is going to go right there. And I'm going to use some dimensionals, which I have right here. Time to put my flower on. I think I'm going to put my flower on like that. If you want a sentiment, you can add one. Let me see. Are we going to put it on? Mm, that one looks nice. Okay, let me see. Pops more on this one, so that's the one I'm going to use. Okay. And now to add my tearing tape on the back. So i got to put it on the right way. Okay. There we have it. And there's the inside and the envelope. I hope I've inspired you today and you'll pull out your stamps and play. Lots of opportunities and ideas out there. Give them a try.